Hello my dear children. Today we will continue with chapter 5 operation on rational numbers. Practice set 23. In this practice set we have to find 3 rational numbers that lie between the two given numbers. You have to find 3 rational numbers that lie between the given two numbers to you. Now suppose if there is a question like find three rational numbers between 1 to 10, it will be very easy for you to spot any three numbers between 1 to 10. But here it is in the fraction form and in this video I will teach you how to find rational numbers between the fractions. The first important thing that we need to know is that the denominators have to be equal so that we find the number between them very easily. Okay, so let's understand how we are going to find the numbers in between these two fractions with the help of a number line. For this sum, I am showing you the number line so that it becomes easy for you to understand what I am trying to tell you. Now, the denominator says 7. That means if this is my number line where I have 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on, minus 1 this side. So what I am going to do is between 0 to 1, I am going to make how many parts? In the denominator it is given 7. So I have to have 7 parts here. So I will make 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And 6, 7. So, how many parts can you find here? This is 1. 1 part, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, total there are 7 parts. I have divided the number line from 0 to 1 in 7 parts. Now, I am going to write here because I have divided them in 7 parts. The first point is the first. So, I will write 1 upon 7. This is 2 upon 7, this is 3 upon 7, 4 upon 7, 5 upon 7, 6 upon 7. Now comes 1. This was supposed to be 7 upon 7. 7 upon 7 is nothing but 7 ones are 7 ones are. So this becomes 1. Okay. Now here the number is given 2 upon 7 and 6 upon 7. We have to find 3 numbers in between 2 upon 7 and 6 upon 7. Here is 2 upon 7 and here is 6 upon 7. Which are the 3 numbers that we can select now? These 3 numbers are in between 2 upon 7 and 6 upon 7. So, the numbers between 2 upon 7 and 6 upon 7 are 3 upon 7, 4 upon 7, 5 upon 7. So, I will write in my answer. I will write in the answer. 3 upon 7, 4 upon 7 comma 5 upon 7. Simple enough. Let's look at sum number 2. In sum number 2, the question is 4 upon 5, comma 2 upon 3. We have to find a number between these two fractions. Now here the denominators are not the same. We have to first equalize the denominator and then only we can find the numbers between the fractions. So, we will equalize the denominator. Remember how in the previous uh, practice set I had showed you how we can equalize the denominator by finding the LCM. We find the LCM. Your 5 into 3 is 15. So, LCM is 15. So, our new denominator should be 15. So, let's solve this sum. I will write here 4 upon 5 and 2 upon 3. I will write here 
Now to make this 15, I have to multiply this by 3. 5 threes are 15. If I multiply the denominator by 3, I have to multiply the numerator also by 3. Here I have to multiply by 5 and the numerator also by 5. Now, 4 threes are 12 upon 15. 2 fives are 10 upon 15. So, so as you can see that if you have to just ignore since the denominators are same we will just ignore the denominators and just look at the numerators and find the, find the numbers between them between 10 and 12 there is only 11 there is only one number here since we have only one number here and in our question they have asked us to find three rational numbers so what we are going to do is we are going to increase the numerator and the denominator. We will again multiply it, multiply it by 2. If there were all three numbers available between them, we could have simply written it down. Since we have only one number that is 11 between 10 and 12, that's why we are again multiplying it by 2 to make it a bigger number. So we are multiplying throughout by 2. What is the new numerator and the denominator that we get? Twelve twos are twenty-four upon thirty and twenty upon thirty. Now again the denominator is same. So we have three numbers now between twenty and twenty-four. That is 20, 21, 22 and 23. So we will write in our answer. Answer we will write 21 upon 30, 22 upon 30 and 23 upon 30. These are the numbers that lie between 20 upon 30 and 24 upon 30. Let's move to the next sum. Sum number 3 is minus 2 upon 3 and 4 upon 5. Here again we have to equalize the denominator. So we will equalize the denominator and we will first write the question minus 2 upon 3, 4 upon 5. We have already got the LCM of 3 and 5 is 15. We have to make the denominator 15. We will multiply this by 5 and multiply this by 3 to make the denominator 15. So, our question will be 5 to the 10 and minus 10 upon 15, 4 threes are 12 upon 15. Now we got the same numbers but we have minus sign here and we have positive sign here. So there are many many numbers in between them. We could range from Minus 8, 9, minus 8, minus 7, minus 6, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. All these numbers lie between these two numbers. So, they are on the opposite sides of the number line. So, we can choose any three numbers that we want from these range. We can ignore, just ignore the denominator and think about the numerator but while writing your answer you have to remember your denominator so answer will be which numbers do you want to choose between them let's just take one minus number so i'll take minus 6 upon 15 again 
since this is minus and this is plus obviously zero always lies in between the number line so i will pick a zero you can take any other number and i will take any other number like 3 upon 15 why i have not written anything in the denominator here because no point if zero is in the numerator no need of writing anything in the denominator but if you want you can write 0 upon 15 okay these are the numbers between minus 10 upon 15 and 12 upon 15 moving to sum number 4 sum number 4 is 7 upon 9 and minus 5 upon 9 here the denominator is already equal so we don't have to do anything else Direct away we can choose any three numbers between minus 5 and 7. Again one is negative and one is positive. Please remember that when we have a number line. This is 0. All the positive numbers come here and all the negative numbers come here. So we have a good range from positive 7 to negative 5. So, we, have, we can write all the numbers in between them. So, our answer will be. Uh, let's choose a number next to 7. Before 7 will be 6. 6 upon 9. Okay, I have 0 here. Again, I can choose 0. So, I am choosing 0. And let's choose one negative number that comes between 0 to minus 5. You can take any number. Let me take minus 2 upon 9. So, these are the three numbers that lie between these two fractions. So, the next sum is also quite simple. The denominators are already same. We have to just focus on the numerator and find the numbers between the numerators. So, like I told you, let me just draw a rough number line. This line is just for you to understand. If this is 0, positive 5 will come here and negative 3 will come somewhere here, negative 3. Now you have all the liberty to choose the numbers in between this range. So you can choose 1, 2, 3, 4 and here you can choose minus 1, minus 2. So you can choose any numbers that you want. So, I will write your answer. Uh, let me choose minus 1 upon 4. Okay, I am not taking 0 this time. But if you want, you can take 0. Uh, I will choose 1 upon 4. I can choose 4 upon 4 also. Okay. If I want, I can do cancellations here and write it as 1 also. Moving to the next sum. Let us move to sum number 4. 7 upon 8 and minus 5 upon 3. Here the denominators are not same. So we will equalize the denominator. We will find LCM. So I will write the question again. 7 upon 8 comma minus 5 upon 3. The LCM of 8 and 3 is 24. So, to make it 24, I have to multiply this by 3 and multiply this by 8. Here also I will multiply by 3 since the denominator is multiplied by 3. Here I will multiply by 8. So, our new fraction is... Twenty one upon twenty four, comma minus forty upon twenty four. Now, here also there is a vast range of numbers to select for my answer. So, I'll randomly select any three numbers between minus forty and plus twenty one. Whenever there is 1 minus and 1 plus, we can definitely choose a 0. Then, uh, before 40, minus 40, we can take minus 39. 
upon 24 and we can take a number before 21 that is 20 upon 24. So, these are the numbers that lie between minus 40 and 21. Moving to the next sum. Here, the next sum is 5 upon 7 and 11 upon 7. The denominator is already equal. So, what we are going to do is straight away think of the numbers that lie between the two fractions. So, I will write the answer. It is very very simple. So, the numbers between 5 and 11. Uh, there are many numbers 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All these numbers come between 5 to 11. So, we will choose any. So, let me choose 6 upon 7. I can choose uh, 8 upon 7. And I can choose 10 upon 7. So, all these numbers lie between these two fractions. Moving to the next sum. Moving to the next sum. That is 0 and minus 3 upon 4. Now here if I look. Just take a look at this number line in the rough. If this is 0. And here is minus 3 upon 4. What are the possible numbers that can come here? Now 0 has no denominator. We can straight away put 4 for it. We can write minus 1 upon 4, minus 2 upon 4 and minus 3 upon 4. Here there are only 2 numbers in between these 2. We need 3 numbers in between the fractions. So what we are going to do is we are going to increase it by multiplying it by 2 like we did in the earlier sum. So what we are going to do is I am going to write the question again and write 0 comma minus 3 upon 4. Let's multiply the denominator by 2. Here even if I multiply the denominator and the numerator by 2 doesn't matter 0 will still remain 0. So my new question becomes 0 comma minus 6 upon 8. Now you have a bigger range here. You have all the liberty to choose the numbers between minus 6 and 0. So we can choose the number. My answer will be after 0 comes minus 1. So I will take minus 1 upon 8. I can take minus 2, minus 3. So I will take minus 3 upon 8 and I will take minus 5 upon 8. So these are the three numbers that I chose from these two fractions. So this was it with practice set 23. Thank you.